Welcome, my dear students, to a new week. In this week, we will talk about the human body system, part two. In this part, we will start talking about the nervous system, skeletal system, muscular system, integumentary system, endocrine system, male and female reproductive system. We will be describing the structure and function for each one of them. First of all, we will start with the nervous system. Now, when we talk about the nervous system, we need to talk about the neurons or the nerve cells and the anatomy of the cell. When we talk about the anatomy, we need to start with the cell body, which is like the nucleus of the normal cell. It it's all the relating all of the function of the uh, of the nerves itself. It contains the axons, which is the one responsible for the transport of the uh, uh, stimuli from one end to the others. Now, these axons uh, is covered or protected by a type of sheet called melanin sheet. Hi, this melanin sheet is covering and making more efficient to the transport the uh, formation from one part to the other. Now, we have uh, dendritis. Dendritis is the one on the front called only dendritis, the one at the end called terminal dendritis. It's the one that's responsible for transferring the, um, the uh, uh, nerve uh, stimuli from one main neuron to the other. When we talk about a neuron, neuron in, in normal cases, which is at rest, it has differences between the sodium and potassium bump, which is the amount of sodium or the amount of sod, uh, potassium in and out of the cells, where in the normal case at rest, they will be closed. Now, the nerve impulse usually goes through uh, the axons from one part to the other, where while uh, the nerve happens or the stimuli occur, there will be a, an action potential. This action potential will cause to a flip or rever uh, flipping or reversing the uh, charge of the uh, axons from negative to positive while passing into uh, the whole uh, cell membrane of the uh, neuron and it will be moving from one edge to the other at uh, uh, moving the impulse with them. So this one actually it will happen that this the way where the uh, nerve cells or the impulse will be trans uh, transferring from one cell to another, which can give you an idea how your body reaches the uh, impulse from um, hitting your your hands or burning your fingers while uh, using the uh, st the stove. This this kind of stimulus goes directly to the brain and then getting the uh, getting the reactions or getting the uh, response from them, then getting back during the same type of nerves. Nerve, this impulse, this movement of this impulse, uh, which in a less than a second, you start, start doing it by this one. Now, as you can see, while moving from one part to the other, the, uh, the charge will be different by moving the action potential from one part to the other until it uh, reaches the end of the new nerve cells and then move to the other. Now, when we talk about the nervous system, we talk about the two types of the nervous system. Nervous system composed from the central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord, and uh, the peripheral nervous system, which is all of the rest that found in your body. Today, we're going to talk only in this week about the nervous system. Then we will continue later on with the skeletal system in details, with the parts of the skeletal system, type of them. Then we will go through the muscular system and the type of the muscular system, the integumentary system, which is the skin, endocrine system, which the glands found in our body, how do they regulate hormones in details. Thank you so much.